Hi, Riley. Okay, I'm about to head to work. I need to go get dressed. So I'm in my PJs. But I wanted to send you a quick video um, about the pulsing concept. So I was looking back at the video I sent you the other day, and um, in the scale, I was doing staccato slurs, right? I was stopping the bow. And, and you shouldn't practice your scale like that, actually, if you want to get a legato sound in your waltz, right? The whole point of practicing that scale is to figure out the bowing technique without worrying about what's happening over here, right? So let me show you the scale with the pulse instead of the staccato sound. So in fiddle playing, we use a lot more pulsing to get notes instead of silence. Uh, sorry, pulsing to get beats. I'm talking about getting a beat, the sound of like, right? We're trying to get something steady happening in our music. In middle school, we did a lot of like, using silence and sound. But what I want you to do is use medium, medium loud and super loud, right? So what you're gonna do is this. And I'm only stopping the bow at the frog and at the tip. So it'll be like this on the D. Ready, set, down. Actually, as I'm playing, I'm realizing I'm not even stopping in between the bows. I'm never stopping the motion. So let's go together. I'll do the scale once and then I'll have to go get dressed. Ready, here it is. D, pulse, pulse, E, pulse, pulse. I hope that helps. Enjoy, have fun. Remember the pulse is made with your crab claw, these two fingers squeezing together here. So it's your, your thumb muscle. Hope that helps.